Okay, we've talked about lens power, and I've introduced you to the, the light ray diagram. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the two basic different types of lenses and three different ways to define each one. So the two basic types of lenses are this type here that is fatter in the middle and skinnier at the ends, and this type here that is fatter at the ends and skinnier at the middle. So let's define these two lenses using three different nomenclatures. The first nomenclature um, is a type that you probably learned in high school. This lens on the left is what's called convex, which is basically, it's a statement of the anatomy of the lens. All convex means is it's fatter in the middle and skinnier on the ends, and it doesn't really get into the function of the lens. It's basically the, the structure of the lens, the anatomy of the lens. And then this lens here is called concave. The mnemonic is the sides are like caves, so um, that's how you remember that's the concave lens. Okay, these are terms that are not really used in the eye clinic, convex and concave. Another term we use is um, based on this principle. Parallel light that hits this lens gets focused to a point here because it's converging light. Parallel light that goes through this lens gets diverged when it goes through the lens. So this lens on the left is called a converging lens, and this lens on the right is called a diverging lens. So where the top terms, convex and concave, may define like the anatomy of the lens, these next terms define like the physiology of the lens. How does it function? Um, but again, these aren't really terms that we use in the eye clinic. These are terms you might find like in a physics lab or something like that. So the next terms I'm going to describe are the terms that we actually do use. So if you remember this terminology from the light ray diagrams from before, that this is the plus space of a lens, if this is zero, right, and this is the minus space of a lens. So what we find is this lens on the left, parallel light that originates in minus space that goes through the lens gets focused onto the plus side of the lens. So this lens we call a plus lens. This lens on the right, light diverges. It doesn't get focused in real space on the plus side of the lens. But if we follow these lines backwards in the kind of a dotted imaginary fashion, we see that they do come to a point on, in minus space, in virtual space. So this lens on the right is called a minus lens. So this is where the minus and the plus comes from when we're talking about lens power. So this plus lens, if we say the light comes to a focus one half of a meter in plus space, what's the power of that lens? Well, Power in diopters is 1 over distance in meters, so 1 over 1 half of a meter equals 2 diopters, and now we know to put a plus sign in front of it because it's a plus lens. The minus lens, on the other hand, let's say that this light gets focused virtually 1 third of a meter away, but it's on the minus side. So what's the power of that lens? Well, one over one third of a meter equals three diopters. But now we know to put a minus sign there because the light is focused on the minus side. So that's where the signs come from when we say we have a minus three lens or we say we have a plus two lens. That's what the plus and the minus really mean. Uh, it's defined in this way. So in the eye clinic, we don't use the terms convex and concave. We don't use the terms converging and diverging to any significant manner. Instead, we use plus and minus. And plus lenses are always colored black. In your lens tray, there'll be a black ring on them. 
and the four octave of the numbers be black, and a minus lens is always red. So in your lens tray, it'll have a red ring on it, and in the four optor, it'll be noted in red. So that's the two basic types of lens and three different terms to define each one, but we'll stick with plus and minus. Um, not positive and negative, plus and minus. All right, next time we will talk about the difference between cylindrical lenses and spherical lenses.